Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Abdel Al Adil. I'm a medical student. Uh, can I have uh, your name, Nich, please? My name is Salih Al Amiri. I'm 21. Okay, Mr. Salih, today uh, I'll be performing an examination to assess your kidneys. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay, uh, can you please take off your shirt? Uh, before starting the examination, I need to measure the pulse rate and the uh, blood pressure. And checking the uh, surrounding of the patient, there is no oxygen container or dialysis machine. Uh, the patient is comfortable, not in distress. He's alert and conscious. He's breathing normally and of uh, normal weight. Okay, can I have a look at uh, your hands, please? Okay, there is no uh, pulmonary edema or muscle wasting. You can get the knees of the patient. Uh, there is no uh, cholinicia or lichnicia. And there is normal uh, capillary refill time. Okay, can you do like this, please? Okay, there is no sign of clubbing. Checking the uh, skin trigger, I should ideally wait for three seconds. So it's normal. I should compare for both hands. Uh, moving along to the uh, arms of the patient, uh, there is no uh, there is no scars, bruises, purpura, or rash. There is no AV, AV fistula for dialysis. There is no scratch marks. Okay, I need you please to do like this. I should ideally wait for 30 seconds to test for the fine tremors. Okay, good. Can you do like this, please? Okay, let's test for the flapping tremors. Okay, good. Uh, now we'll move to the face of the patient. I need you please to look up. There's no conjectival failure. I need you to look down, please. There's no sign of jaundice. Um, there is no periorbital edema or uh, periorbital edema or butterfly rash. Uh, checking the nose for uh, epistaxis. So there's no epistaxis. And you please to open your mouth. Uh, there is good dental hygiene and no dental caries. There's no uremic smell. Uh, can you please stick out your tongue? Uh, there is no sign of central cyanosis, pharyngitis, or tonsillitis. Okay, good. Uh, now we'll move to the neck of the patient. Uh, there is no central line for hemodialysis. Should palpate the anterior and the posterior cervical lymph nodes for both sides. Okay, good. Uh, I need you please to lie down for me. Okay, Mr. Saleh, can you look at the other side, please? Okay, now uh, there's no sign of uh, raised GVP. Okay, good. Uh, now I need to, fe uh, to feel the uh, apex beat in the uh, fifth intercostal space at the um, mid uh, clavicular line. So this is the second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now I'm feeling the apex beat, so the heart is normal. Uh, I'll listen for uh, pericardial rub at the mitral uh, area, at the same side of the uh, apex beat. Okay, good. Uh, can you sit up, please? Okay, now I'll percuss for pleural effusion. Okay, good. Now I'll listen to the lung bases for crepitation. Okay, good. Uh, can you lie down uh, again, Mr. Saleh? Okay, now moving down to the uh, patient's abdomen. Now, on, uh, on inspection, there's no scars, deformities, dilated veins, or distension of the abdomen or the suprapubic area. I should compare the flanks for symmetry, so they are symmetrical. Okay, uh, there are no uh, obvious masses. Okay, Mr. Saleh, uh, do you have pain anywhere? No. Okay, I'll begin with uh, superficial palpation of the abdomen in the nine areas. I'll keep looking at the patient for any sign of discomfort. Okay, now I'll go uh, deeply with the tip of my fingers.
Okay, good. Uh, now, I need you please take a deep breath for me. Okay, on inspiration, you try to palpate for the liver. Okay, again. Okay, again. One more time. Okay, good. Now, that's for the liver. Uh, I need you to take deep breaths again for me, please. We go diagonally. Again. We go diagonally for the spleen. Okay. Good. And now we'll do the kidney balloting. The right hand is always up. Okay, good. Okay, good. That's for uh, that's it for the palpation. Now we'll begin per percussing the patient abdomen. Uh, I always begin with the sup uh, anterior superior iliac sp spine or the liver, liver span. Okay, good. Okay, good. Now we go again diagonally for the spleen. Okay, good. Uh, now we need to percuss uh, the suprafuric area for the bladder. Okay, good. Uh, now I need to do uh, three maneuvers, the shifting dunnus first. Till we hear dunnus, okay. And you to roll uh, to the side, please, without moving our hands of the, on the patient. We should ideally wait for 30 seconds. Okay, there is no shifting doneness. I need you please to do like this for me. Okay, that's it. Uh, this is for the uh, fluid thrill. Okay, good. Uh, I need you please to sit up. Uh, do you have pain in the back? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we need to do, uh, to do the Mer uh, Murphy's punch sign, which is the court of a civil angle. I'll tap on the uh, back and tell me if you have uh, or you feel any pain. Do you feel any pain? No. For the other side? Do you feel pain? No. Okay, good. Now I'll listen for uh, renal brewery, one inch above and lateral uh, to the umbilicus for renal artery stenosis. You should also listen uh, for the bowel uh, sounds at the uh, four areas. Okay, good. Uh, now we move on to the uh, legs of the patient. We need to expose them and uh, inspect uh, for colors, asymmetry, and edema. Okay, now Mr. Saleh, can you explore, uh, expose your legs, please? Okay, now inspecting uh, the legs of the patient, uh, there, is no, there is no scars, asymmetry, or discoloration. We need to assess uh, the presence of uh, edema, and if edema is present, we need to press one inch above the medial malleolus to see if it is pitting edema or non-pitting edema. Okay, thank you. Uh, at the end, I'll thank the patient and help him uh, get dressed. I'll wash my hands. And to complete the examination, I'll uh, do the, uh, a complete rectal and genital examination as well as urine analysis.